I work for a price reporting agency setting the UK gas price every day based on information that we receive from sources who've been trading the market and also people who've been observing the trading activity going on. As part of our information gathering, we call a sample of traders at half past four every day, exactly half four, and find out where the day ahead contract, the most influential UK gas contract, was trading at that exact moment. And some of the traders will talk to us over the phone. Some of them will send us screen grabs, for example, what we've got on the right here which is showing the best bid and the best offer for the day ahead contract at exactly half past four. And some of them will send us a list of trades that they've seen in the market. And we use all of that to build a picture of what's been going on in what we call our window, which is around the half past four mark. What we saw on this particular day was that even though there was a bid of 58.40, which means you could sell gas at 58.40 at that time, and then there was an offer at 58.75, Someone had traded gas at 58p, which immediately raised red flags because it was outside the best bid and offer at the time. And it's a massive move, half a penny or so from the midpoint of where gas was trading at that time. And it felt like a potential manipulation of our closing price. The weekend contract was at 59.35 and it was bid at 59.35 to 59.50. So that felt right. Working days next week, offered at 59.10, trades at 59.10, and, and that looks absolutely fine. And that makes what happened on the day ahead contract seem even more suspicious. Bang, 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 six times people have tried to force the price down, it appears to us. And then suddenly the price recovers. Once our window is closed and we've assessed our price, it just recovers and it carries on trading in a smooth trajectory. And manipulating our closing price can have all kinds of ramifications where long-term contracts for the supply of gas which are based on our closing prices can be affected to the tune of millions of pounds just on the basis of having influenced us by half a penny which is what they were trying to do here it seems.